Herzlich willkommen zu Oxpoon, the technical magazine with Wolfgang Rudolf. Hello and a very warm welcome. Today we have a theme which comes directly out of our lives, of course. I want to go into industrial products which are very, very important. Of course, in households we have to weigh. That we determine the weight. What is that exactly? Actually, we determine the mass. The mass of something, when I have something, it pushes on my hand. Why does it push on my hand? Of course, because underneath the earth is a massive mass, which pulls at this little mass. And this gravity is what we feel as weight. And that was always important because you want, when you are at the butchers and want to buy a pound of sausages or so, you want to know if the weight is correct. Even when you buy sugar, flour or potatoes or anything you buy, that means you always have to weigh. That is in our normal language settled in. If you take it exactly, totally exact, then we say he lays it on the golden scale. I have brought something with me, a sort of gold scales. Have a look at this. It is a little scale. I will turn it on. It can only weigh maximum of up to 30 grams, but with a very big resolution. For example, I can take a memory card and lay it on it. And as you can see, it weighs 0.267 grams. Or I lay a silver dollar from 1923 that brought my granddad from the States back. It weighs 19.76 grams. Or something very noble, a Kruger Rand. Let's see what that weighs. 25.0 and so forth. So as you can see, I can determine very fine weights with this. When I want to weigh rough things, rough, okay, let's say heavier. For example, I have here a silver block, 500 gram, and when I put it onto here, it stretches its wings. With this I need other things. And I would like to show you a few examples how you can in the industry, in trading, but also in households or whatever you want, the weight to determine as the mass of any article or product. So the first product I would like to show you is from PC, the PCE CS1000N, a crane scale. Crane scale, why? Because you hang it somewhere, for example on a crane, at the top is a shackle, and then we have the actual scale and a massive metal casing with a big distal, just to show you my finger next to it looks pretty small against it, it's a really big background lid, very good to read and extra information at the bottom. So as you can see, when I pull a little bit here, it starts to show some results. But exact is the scale first in its defined weighing area from 10 kilos to 1,000 kilos. Here you can hang one ton onto. This operates with premium batteries, which last up to 65 hours, and it is delivered with a remote control. With the remote control, you can call up all functions like Tara, weighing in, that means we have something on it, with the weight I set the display to naught, put something extra onto it and become then the additional weight. So I'd like to show you that now. When I take this basket, my shopping basket, with apples and nuts, which are very important, I hang it onto here. It is pretty heavy. As you can see, 10.6, now at 10.8, so it lays somewhere between that. This is because the triggering of the scale lays at 0.2 kilos, 200 gram. It's clear with a ton you don't have to be too, so accurate. That's good enough. It is easy to use. And one feature, if you do have different measuring units, you can all set your units so you could take any sort of item. If you have lots of similar items and put this measuring unit in it, then it counts the items you have in it. So 
So when we look at this, this PC CS 100N is a very stable, very precise and easy to use crane scale. So thank you. So I'll take my eating basket off now because I want to go and get something to eat. Now I have a package scale, and naturally you cannot only weigh packages with it, but so to say a dispatch scale. This is the PC PB 60N, and it can weigh up to 60 kilos. Minimum weight is 60 grams, and the triggering is 20 grams. So as you can see, it is pretty accurate. When I learn Apple onto it, it weighs 0.16 kilogram, so that's 160 gram. When I, for example, want to know what my apples weigh in my bowl, this is the wrong way, but this can, like other scales before, over the Tara function be used. That means I'll put all my apples out, hoping that they don't fall down. By the way, we have picked them from the tree ourselves, though, so they are healthy, not sprayed. So now I put the ball back on, and we can see 1.9 kilogram it weighs. Now we'll set the tariff function to naught. Now it shows Tara. And now when I put my apples onto it, I become naturally, when I finish the display, what the apples only weigh. There is a sort of plus win procedure. Naturally, I can do this often by setting to naught again and put more apples in the bowl. So I put my apples down there. I'll have to eat them this afternoon. There are other functions, and I would like to show you them. Try to imagine I have here cans. I have thousands of them, and I have to count them. Then I cannot be bothered to count them. Then tell my scale, watch this. I would like to count now. And have the possibility to say, we have now five pieces, or ten, or twenty, or thirty. We have screws or other items and have lots of them. Then I take more. And more exact is then the way. Fifty, seventy-five, hundred. So, and now back to five, and now I set it, and say OK, that are five cans, and that has the scale remembered. Now I put one more on it, so six cans, one more, seven cans, eight, nine, ten, it can count just like me, but it doesn't miscount, so I also have a counting scale, when I simply pack items onto it and say, that are so many pieces, I put no known amount onto it, and that's how it works. This scale is also compatible with some potion stations, like DHL, and then you can take the data directly off the scale, out of the connections, and you can always so fit it to a wall, and here transmit over the USB to the PC. And now I have changed it to weight, and now when I take my cans off, you can see it shows me the actual data rates. Er zeigt mir also aktuell die übertragenen Datensätze an. Und and not only DHL, but naturally GLS, compatible, and then you can transfer everything automatically into your own EDV using the connections. So, but not only kilogram and pieces you have seen, but naturally you can show in newtons or lips, that means, and also English pounds and so forth. A very universal usable scale. The commercial usage, maybe it is good enough for private. So now I have a device, very noble. Maybe you say, what has that to do with the scale? There is a moisture feature. So how do I measure moisture? Okay, when I have a wet sponge and squeeze it, the water runs out. Now it isn't as moist as before. But lots of things you want to know exactly how high is the moisture in the probe. It doesn't just have to be food, it can be though. I tried it at home with chips, it was 65%, so you can try it with lots of things. 
But importantly are other materials, which aren't allowed to be stored moistly. And just to prove if the state is okay, there where you are storing, the difference to the moisture in the air and the materials I am storing. So here I have from PCE, the MA110, that is a device which is very tricky, watch out, I'll show you. When I open it, we have the top in the lid, a circular lighting. That is a halogen lamp. And this halogen lamp, as you know, makes things pretty warm, when not hot. And with this, something is heated, and down here I have already built together, we have the plate, that's where my probe bowl comes. With this holder I don't burn my fingers because it will be made hot. And onto this, there I can put my probe and have the possibility of a 15 different predefined programs which I program myself or the standard program which is in it to heat up the probe. And through the difference in weight, and there we are back to scale from the wet probe at the beginning, to them that last over the heating time will be said that so that much what is was in it. And then you measure over the weight, the potential moisture out, and the device does that fully automatically. We have done it already because it takes a while to do. I brought it here from my apple tree a little piece, so that's enough. And when you lay something like this onto here and close the lid, so I know the device shows us what the probe weighs, and now I can start it. And we'll have a look at that in the curtain because it takes too long. About 33 minutes with this piece. And I don't want to let you wait that long. So, as we could see, that's what it looks like now. It is naturally still hot. But look here, that is the piece of apple afterwards, and that is the piece before. And you saw as well how high the moisture proportion was. A very tricky device, this MA110 from PCE. With this you can very easily, in laboratories and testing fields, proven fields, everywhere it is necessary to know which moisture have my materials which I am working with, and you can pretty easily, de easily determine, and also own configuration sets for different things, so a great device. And I always learn more, I didn't know that something like this exists. So, now I am finished with the performance for today, let us have a short look at the products which I have shown you. The crane scale PCE CS1000N, which goes from 10 kg to 1000 kg, weighs and has a very big and distinct display. Although the next scale, the delivery scale, has a nice big readable display and a connection to a computer so that you can send your data straight away. Also from PC, the PB60N, which goes to 150 kilo. There are also other versions, but they all look alike. And last but not least, for me the most interesting device, that is the MA110. The device which the moisture out of the material draws and later to compare the weight. And then knows how much moisture was in there. So then very interesting products should have always good balance what you need in your firm and what makes sense. Look here and in the internet there's much more information.